in this example, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it says a monument is 550 feet uh, tall. If you are standing uh, 1,320 feet from the base of the monument, looking to the top, find the angle of elevation to the nearest degree. So the, you guys can see I kind of have like five steps for the word problems. And again, I already told you what my grading policy concerns of. Like that's the triangle the equation and the answer, right? Um, however, I do want you to practice. So for today's lesson, I do want to practice kind of doing some best practices. And that's why I kind of wrote out these five steps. And I think if you guys do these five steps, that will help you. Um, that will help you kind of understand how to do the problems correctly. So therefore, you can make sure you get all the points. All right. So the first one is just drawing a picture. Doesn't mean just draw a picture. Like have fun with it. All right. So you have a monument. Cool. Like what does that monument look like? Cool. And and then you are farther away from it. And then you're looking up now. I did kind of forget to mention to you guys um, the angle of elevation is the angle above a horizontal, right? So what we got to do is kind of determine a horizontal. The ground. Yes. Oh, okay. So the horizontal. Now sometimes the horizontal could be the ground, sometimes the horizontal could be our eyesight, right? But the thing is, we don't know how tall we are, or the question is not really asking from there. So the only thing that really makes sense for our horizontal to be is from the ground. So it says an angle of elevation of, or that's what we need to figure out, right? So that's going to be our theta. The only thing we do know is that we are 1,320 feet away from the monument, and the monument is 550 feet tall. Okay, And again, just sometimes in other problems, they'll have more information where you'd say, oh, the horizontal is like your eyesight, or you, know, you have different kind of change of things from there. Um, all right, the next one is, so now you kind of have the picture. Now, again, I guess I'm having some problems with people who still like, not understand. So again, guys, this is from chapter four. Everything is right triangles, right? Everything is created on right triangles. So the next thing is create the triangle. Today's lesson is pretty nice because we know everything that we're going to be doing is creating a right triangle. So I create the right triangle. Is that 20 or 2? Yeah, 20. And this is 555 feet. All right, and this is our angle. Now again, what is it we're trying to find, right? We have an angle. We just created a variable. So we want to define that variable. We want to say theta equals the angle of elevation. Please make sure you guys get in practice of defining what it is you are solving for. You either are defining your variable, or you're going to be writing something at the end. Does that make sense? Yes. No? Yes. OK. So even though I know that's what the question is saying, but that's what we're asking. That's what we want to make sure we have defined. The next thing is setting up an equation. This is what we just did. We have a triangle. We have a variable that is defined. Now we're just going to set up an equation. And we recognize here, we see, well, that's going to be tangent there. So we can say theta equals, I'm sorry. You could do that, but let's just write the full equation. Let's write the equation. Tangent of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Right? So you could write that as your equation. Or you could say theta equals tangent inverse of 555. You could divide out the feet and do 1,320. That works as well. Right? Then, the last but not least, guys, is a solve. So, and again, my point is, if you just want to write this equation and then do this in your calculator, fine. If you want to just show that, right, and then do your calculator, that's fine. As long as you're in degree mode, um, then we'll just do tangent inverse, and then 555 divided by 1320. And it says we're on to the nearest degree, right? So I am getting theta is equal to 23 degrees. Again, make sure you're using our unit. And then do we know what theta represents? We know it's an angle, but do we know what it represents in the context of the problem? Yeah, it's the angle of elevation, right? If not, if we don't define what our variable is, then we're going to want to write, hey, 23 degrees is the angle of elevation to the top of the monument, right? So you either define it initially, or you define it at the end by writing a sentence. Okay. But either way, if you just write theta equals and you don't define what theta represents, then you're not answering really the question. You're just creating a variable and solving it. 
which is not really what we're asking you to do. We're asking you to find the angle of elevation. So you need to tell us what is the angle of elevation. Does that make sense? Yes. Right? A lot of people 